government doesn't like you to know how the government works. The government doesn't like you to know the intricacies of how they spend the money. The government doesn't want to publish reports telling you where the money they take in goes. The government will take in, you know, $500 billion for certain departments and those departments will then redistribute the money. A portion of that department will re redistribute the money in grants and other investments um, into special interest groups or into um, groups that you'll have the minister, you'll have a ministry of environmental, or you're going to have an environmental budget in the U.S. And what they'll do is you probably think that the money's going towards unionized civil servants, and it is, and it is, trust me, but they don't want you to know what they also, that department also does with the money. What they also do with the money is they give it to special interest groups, special interest groups in New York, special interest groups in California, and special interest groups where it's specifically hard to buy votes. Most people then take the money, they reinvest it in stickers, print media, radio ads, and other sort of, uh, and university tours where they can, you know, influence all the university students to vote. And um, that's where, that's why the money's dispersed to these groups. So pandering then starts. Um, the government doesn't want you to know how much, where the money actually goes when you pay taxes. Where does it go? Does 20% go here? 30% goes there? Where? How much goes on health care? How much? The government doesn't want you to know that. The government doesn't make an easy to find list of what grants go where and so forth. The government doesn't want you to know that they are giving Mexican groups uh, in the southern states, in New Mexico and other places, they have they are giving government grants to people who operate out of houses who have six people claiming to be a non-profit organization and the money gets funneled to one grant organization to another to another and then ends up eventually over to them so the government can say I had nothing to do with this but wait a minute you gave X foundation this amount of money from this department what are you saying you have nothing to do with that well that foundation's a private non-profit foundation bullshit that foundation operates because you give them eventually the taxpayers money that taxpayers money that foundation gives all these doles out all these grants to these organizations um, in the southern US states and these are Mexican organizations and what they do in the Mexican community is they advertise in Mexican newspapers and they basically turn the vote on to whoever gives them the grants Usually these grants will be given from a democratic government. The democratic government takes these grants, they fund them over to all these special interest groups, Jews in New York, uh, Mexicans down south, uh, LA, Korean groups, Cambodian groups, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, Vietnamese groups in California and Orange County, they, they give it all over the place, they disperse it everywhere. And um, of course where the average Americans get nothing because they're paying into this. And these groups get given all this money, especially the black groups, all over the U.S. And we're talking billions of dollars in grants. They tell their friend, their cousin, their cousin, you know, their community newspapers, if you want to keep these grants going, you know, you got to, if you want to see this thing continue, you got to vote for this party. And what happens is, is that a Republican comes in, somebody like George Bush or somebody... George Bush Jr. or Sr., whoever, somebody comes in who's a Republican, do you think that Republican who just narrowly got in, they just got in in the election, they just managed to get over 50%, they just won by 5,000 votes, do you think they're about to jeopardize those 5,000 votes? Do you think they're about to jeopardize the chance that they're going to not get in the next election? They don't like it. George Bush Jr. probably doesn't like giving money to these groups. What choice does he have? He doesn't have a choice. But that's shh, that's secret. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know they give money to these groups so they can buy votes off. So what happens is that whichever government gets in, it just keeps going and going and going and going. And before you know it, things are out of control. Before you know it, you have money secretly being funneled to all these groups that people don't realize because people are too busy working every day and just reading mainstream headlines and they don't know exactly. The government doesn't want you to know 
how the voting system works. The government doesn't want you to know the power, just like the re sheer power of buying 5,000 votes. The government, and they will invest in buying votes. But I'll tell you one thing. There's one thing that all these organizations and nonprofits and all these people that they need to resort to buying votes from, there's one thing they have in common. They don't work in the private sector full time and they don't pay their share of taxes. That goes for the, uh, the non-profits, that goes for the religious Jewish organizations, that goes for who depend on um, donations, that goes for the Vietnamese organizations in California who do nothing but run their Vietnamese uh, church, uh, temple, community center things that are operated through grants through the government of California, through the, all these other things. That goes for all of them, and they can win thousands and thousands of votes, believe you me. But the one thing they have all in common is that they don't pay taxes. They want easy immigration for their relatives to come over. They want to be able to sit and lounge around and get involved in politics, and the, pol the political people pander to them the most. Because the working people are always going to sway back and forth. They're going to vote this, this time, that, that time. Or they're just going to vote conservative. But it's those special interest groups that really can turn that election around. you got all the university students being brainwashed, having the global warming brainwashing put on them. And before you know it, what happens is, is that the election comes around and let's see if the money paid off. And in Bush's case, I think when he won against Kerry, I, I will say, I do say that that was because there was secret rumblings within the Jewish community that Bush was good. I think he got the Jewish vote there, which they never thought, which they scratched their head over. And I think that it was the Mexicans also who caused that to happen because he pandered to those groups. But those small groups, believe me, have the power to affect the outcome of an election. Believe me. So that's what happens. But what you're really seeing is you're seeing systematic corruption. You're seeing politicians who are not representing the people who are paying into the system. You're seeing them represent people who don't pay into the system, who've never paid into the system, and who shouldn't even be allowed to vote. So you just got to ponder that. You just got to pander that. And um, things are just out of control right now. The government's out of control with the spending. If this continues, we're going to sink as a country. We're going to go downhill, which is going to cause the world to go downhill. Europe's got its own problems. And you got to stop that. Immigration continues. Immigration continues because people vote with immigration as their sole purpose for voting at all. They will vote the easiest party that will get their mother or grandfather over. And you'll see this with the South Asians, Vietnamese, um, most of the immigrant groups. They just want their relatives to come over and get a piece of the American pie. And that's it. Your expense. That's at your expense. You pay for that. And you pay for their health care. And you pay for their HMOs. You know, the government doesn't want you to think that that's the case. The government wants to, you know, invest in headlines. And immigrants are the hardest workers. And I'm not talking about I'm not talking about ethnic immigrants. I'm talking about, uh, you know, um, skilled workers from China and Vietnam and, you know, India and Pakistan, they're such skilled computer geniuses. They're, they're, they're very skilled, you know. They, they want you to, and they'll sit there and they're such hard work, but anybody who's obviously worked with immigrants or gone to school with them know that they are some of the most laziest, laid back people who miss the most work days. And it's, anyways, let's, let's keep it on topic, but the government, the government doesn't want you to know that. And the government in, keeps immigration going because of, of the fact that they want to win votes over from this group and that group and that group. The government wants to split you up into groups, group after group. You're, a, you're this Haitian group, you're, you're that Jamaican group, you're that, um, you know, you're this uh, Israeli Jewish group in New York, oh, you're, you're this, you know, other group. And what they do is they divide and they conquer and they buy their votes and that's corruption of the system. That is corruption of the system and it causes racism on top of that. And that's just wrong and it's something that they need to stop doing. So when the government collects taxes from you, if you were if you work for a private company and when they collect you know their tax from you and they collect their income tax from you and they want to take it and eventually funnel it down to these groups, ask yourself, geez, what well, what would happen if these groups were not allowed to vote? And only the people that contributed, which is me and some of you, you know, are allowed to vote. Well, 
politicians would start to pander to us, not them. They would pander to us. And they would say, well, the first thing we need to do is go after those government unions and government's too big and we need to you know, streamline things and we need to outsource and contract all our government workers. And, and it would just basically, our taxes would, would be this big because you know, it would literally be going towards the military and bare bone funding of services. And the taxpayers are not going to stand very long for people who want to waste you know, billions of dollars in global warming scams and, and billions of dollars in needless immigration and billions of dollars in HMOs for, for Mexicans who can't even speak English. So, screensaver. And um, I think that you should just realize that and you should see what the government's trying to do and the media.